Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Mamo smartwatch with the Mamo Fit app on an Android phone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with an iOS device. So, let's begin here immediately. We have the Mamo smartwatch and let's see how to connect it. You can download the app by searching for it in the Play Store if you know it. But if you don't you need to find the QR code for the app which it uses. So, what we're going to do now is take our phone and scan it. After we have scanned it will show us a link that sends us to the Google Play Store. And here we have the Mamo Fit app which we can download and connect to our watch. So, we are going to download it really fast right now and after we have done so we're going to go inside and see how to connect our watch. So now that the app is done let's open it up and see what's inside. First, it's going to ask to accept the service agreement and privacy policy so we're going to agree. Then it will ask to select your current region and after we've chosen our region it's going to ask for access to your location and access to your files and media so we're going to click accept also. Next it will ask to register into your account so you can create one by using Google or Facebook and after that we can go in. After that we're going to go into the device option and click on add device where we also need to choose the model of the watch. Then it will start to look for your device by scanning nearby devices, and after it has found it, you can click on it and it will start to pair with your device and it will send a request on your watch as you can see here so we're going to accept and now we have a successful bind. Next. We're going to turn on the notifications permissions so our phone can send us notifications directly in our watch. For that we need to go into settings and turn on the notifications for the app and allow the app to send us notifications. After that we can go into the app and choose which apps we want to get notifications from. After that we're all ready to get into the app and see some of the options it has inside. The first option we can see is watch face, where we can change the profile or face of our watch. Here we have our own faces and the online faces which let us choose from a different variety of watch faces, with different categories and you can choose whichever you like best and if you want one you need to download it. Let's try one and see for ourselves, we can download it and then it will change our watch face immediately. Next, we've got individualization where we can further personalize our watch like quick card manager where you can change the widgets on your watch based on which ones you want to be shown and we can rearrange however we want, as you can see here after we've done the changes, we wanted it has changed them instantly into the device. Next, we've got workout list where we can choose which of the workouts we want the watch to track and we can choose from 13 different workouts and any change that we do will directly be mirrored into the watch. Next, we've got health monitoring where we can turn on continuous tracking on heart rate, reminders over excessive heart rate stress, pressure monitoring and reminders to drink water and stand up and walk like a sedentary reminder. Next, we've got notifications management where you can choose which apps from your phone can send you notifications and which can't so you can choose based on what apps you use and want notifications from or if you want you can turn them off altogether. After that we've got weather where we can turn on weather synchronization and mobile location services. Next, we've got the user guide where it shows all the information you need on how to use every option inside the app. 
and on the bottom, we've got additional settings where we can find options like Word stock updating and check for actual module updates and see if we've got the latest version on our device and also the About Device option where it shows all the information about our device. On our bottom right we've got the Me button where we've got the target setting to set our targets that we want to achieve and also personal info where we can put our own personal info like age, height and weight so the device can make more accurate measurements. Also, third-party services and third-party login and app settings. And last on the home button we've got the health monitoring options where you can track every activity you have done while wearing your watch and other health data like for example steps where you can see all the data that it's gathered on how many steps you've done how many calories have you burnt and your average steps daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. We also got heart rate to see our data about our heart rate and look for any problems that we might have had and our average heart rate by continuous monitoring. We can also see our stress levels, energy levels, sleeping routines, SpO2 for oxygen in our blood, and all these health monitoring options where you can see all the data which your watch has sent and gathered from monitoring you. You can also see every record daily, weekly, monthly and yearly and see all your averages, your time exercising and all the exercises you've done. And you can also rearrange them however you want. So, this is pretty much it on the MamoFit app, how to connect and what to expect inside. It's a great and really easy app to use and it works really well. This was all for today's video, in the next one we will show you how to connect your watch with iOS. I really hope you enjoyed and found this video interesting and helpful, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.